That's a fish. Feels like a, I don't know, maybe a walleye. Long hike into this spot. A long day too, but maybe a little pike? Hard to tell. Oh, it's a huge perch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes. Okay, maybe not huge, but really nice. Oh, baby. Big river perch. How unexpected. Jigging a, a black brown strip bucktail jig. Had a really long day outdoors, but that is a beauty. Not a monster, but a quality perch. And then there's one. Sometimes there's more. That is awesome. I've tried to find schools of river perch so many times. It's just... It's just a timing thing. They have to be in the area. That's an absolute beauty, though. Not crazy long, 14 or so. I'll get a measurement on them, but really fat with eggs. Big mama. That was a bite. Yeah, that... I don't know, that could have been a carp too. This feels like a perch. It feels all wiggly, just like that last one. But walleyes feel that way too sometimes, especially smaller ones. I'm hoping for a monster perch, baby. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, baby. It's foul hook. That's, no, it's not foul hook, but it's coming in sideways. That's why it feels so big. There's more perch in here. That's awesome. That's another really nice one. Really quality perch, man. The line was all wrapped around the fin there, but I, I fair hooked her. That is super awesome. That's another beauty. You know, solid 13 and a half. At least as, at least as long as the last one, because she has a full tail. But, real fat one. fish. Well, here we go again. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> here we go again. Everything's tucked into the shallows there. It's way deeper over here, but there's a current break and a dying weed bed right where I'm fishing. I'm getting the perch and these two bigger fish out of that spot. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm foul hooking rough fish. Maybe not this one. This one's definitely fighting different. I have a feeling the last one was a carp though. Because I don't feel any like a... Oh, that's a pike. Or a muskie. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling last one. I mean, if it was a pike, it was probably a 40. But, just by how, how heavy it felt. But it was lumbering in like a way a carp does. Alright, I'm not going to miss my chance this time. Come on, right in here, baby. It's a pike. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 sideways. Not sideways. Oh, right under the chin there. There we go. Not a huge pike, but nice solid one. Yeah, probably 30, 31 incher. Nice one. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't even lift her up here. There we go. Nice pike. Yep. There's one. Feels like a perch too. Been working it for a while. Trying to get another here. I hope it's a walleye. The smaller walleyes do feel the same. They wiggle a lot. That's what I've been waiting for though, is walleyes turn on. Same black brown fleck bucktail jig. Nice 16 and a half inch probably keeper walleye. Sweet. Okay, little guy here right next to me. I jigged until after sunset last night and slept and uh, came back out for the morning bite today. 
little 13, 14 inch walleye. Just steady retrieving a uh, F9 Rapala upstream. <laughs> this guy followed me all the way up, hit it right when I started to lift it out of the water. Wading a little too deep here, I guess. And that's another little one. They're definitely turning on. It's two casts in a row after like 20, 30 casts straight. It's probably a 14. Right around there. Man. I love how walleyes turn on. 20 casts straight, nothing, and three casts in a row. Classic. It's two shorts. This one feels a little better. I don't expect to be too good today because the water's low. I don't know if I said this. I'm at a different river than I was last night. This one might be a keeper. It feels a little heavier. Just looking for 15 plus. It's a keeper size here. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a 17 and a half, 18. Definitely. Skinny though. That one feels at least as good as the last one. Right where I was just standing. I move around a little bit to get into more active pockets of fish. Oh no, he's not that big. I pulled a big one right out of that spot the other day, so I'm getting a little, a little excited whenever I hook one right there, I guess. Yeah, he's just a decent keeper. Last one, 17 three quarters. This one's probably 16 and a half. That's doubling right over a little bit. Low 20s maybe? No, he doesn't feel as big now. Felt like mid 20s at first. Now it feels like low 20s. He's a decent one. Awesome. Oh, barely hooked. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's not big, but he's a good one. I'm on the back hook there. Yeah, maybe low 20s probably. Not huge, but nice solid walleye. Awesome. Yeah, 22, 23, probably 23 incher. Right around there. That one feels decent too. Not as big as the last one, but you know my guessing's uh, was right on at first. It was within a quarter inch on the first ones, but that last one was a little smaller than I thought. It was 21 and a half. I was getting a little too excited. I was getting those really big girls last week, 25 to 28, so it just has me pumped. Start guessing wrong and whatever. Um, it's definitely another keeper size one, for sure. Yeah, another nice chunky 17-18-ish. Amazing. I hit males for a week straight, pure 15 inches every day. You know, I get a limit of 15 to 16 inches you know, towards the end of October, and then come November, the females are here again. This feels like a decently heavy one, too. Barely, yeah, this one's, this one's good. This one's probably low 20s or better. Feels heavy. Just barely coming in. Not fighting hard, just heavy. This is probably the best one in the morning, I would say. Here, there, she's wrapped up in the line, maybe. Still feels good. Pull the line and twitch over a fin there. I'm gonna beach her. Feels that way, I could be wrong. Feels big. Oh man, this is so good for how low the water is. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Heck yeah. There's a big girl. That's what I'm talking about. Not a monster, but nice big fatty 25 inch or so man what a beauty just a slow steady bite still steady retrieving this F9 Rapala fan casting pick up a fish like every 10 minutes but they're good fish that last while I was 25 and a third inches but she was real fat she was uh, I weighed her she was six pounds five ounces there's another solid one. Nice skinny keeper range one. 
right around 16, 15 and a half maybe. There we go. Still moving around a little, back to the shallow end, waiting out. This guy hit right next to me, another little guy. And real good bite for how low the water is, you know. Not getting any numbers, but you know, when the water's high, sometimes I'll get up to like 30 fish in a, in a few hours down here, but or maybe more, but when water's low like this, a bite like this is definitely good. Picked up a really tiny one right next to me again. Weird. These little guys are like are like the class I'd expect on a on a really low water bite. These are what I normally get, like five of these 12 inchers. Man, what an evening and morning of fishing. Didn't get a lot of fish, but got quite a few quality fish. You know, these few from last evening, kept them in a deep chill all night, so they're really fresh. i um, going to cut them up right after I, I take this clip here. And then took this limit home this morning, a beautiful walleye, you know, 16 to 25 and a third. Um, you know, these perch yesterday, I never said this, but one of them was uh, one pound four ounces. Maybe it shrank a little since last night, since they've been, um, they've been packed in ice, but the other one was one pound five ounces. You know, really hefty fish. One was a little under 13 and a half, the other one a little over 13 and a half. Not very long, but really hefty for their length. Um, you know, the pike was 31. A uh, nice thick pike. Um, these walleyes, you know, three of them are 16 to 18 probably. That one's 21 and a half and that one's 25 and a third. But, you know, for for how short she is, she's just really, really fat. Um, six pounds, five ounces. It's a beautiful walleye. Normally I let them go this size. Um, last few years I've caught so many 23 to 28 inchers. And I've let every single one go to try and improve the, the trophy fishery. But what I noticed over the years is, um, especially this year, is I'm getting just as many mid-20s fish as I am low-20s fish. So I've uh, like adjusted my selective harvest standard to include mid-20s fish, because they're, they're not rare at all, these 25 inches. There, there's been no shortage of them this year. The ones 26, 27 plus have been really rare, though. I've only gotten one, one 28 incher this year, and let her go, of course. Um, you know, the rare fish are what I try and let go to improve the trophy fishery. Um, you just got to adjust your, your standard for the area you're fishing in pretty much. You know, just a bunch of beautiful walleye. Nice quality perch. Nice pike. Great fish.